Ciao! The Giro d'Italia is upon us once more, so we thought we'd give you an insight into the Italian Grand Tour by way of an antipasti platter of facts. Do you remember last year's Giro d'Italia when Richie Port was docked two minutes for taking a wheel from non-teammate Simon Clarke? Well, way back in 1922, things were just a little bit stricter. Giovanni Brunero was docked 25 minutes for taking a wheel from a teammate. There you go. But that didn't stop the rider from winning the overall classification regardless. Did you know there was a jersey that was awarded to the last place rider on general classification? It was called La Maglia Nera, or the black jersey. And quite often there used to be a race within a race to see who could get the slowest time. Such was the prestige of wearing this jersey. Now in 1951, it was the last time the jersey was awarded, but it went to none other than Giovanni Pinarello. Perhaps an indication he should quit bike racing and start frame building instead. And in fact, I actually wore the black jersey. Well, I say wore it, I was in last place in the Giro for three days back in 2000 when I rode, surprisingly, because I fell off. Time you get, whoa! <laughs> Much like the souvenir Henri de Grange in the Tour de France, the Cima Coppi denotes the highest point climbed in the Giro d'Italia. For example, the Cima Coppi for the 2016 edition of the race is atop the Colle del Agnello at 2,744 meters above sea level. The King of the Mountains points are also doubled for the first to the top of the climb, and they'll also get a cash prize and a very nice trophy too. Very much like the other two Grand Tours, the Tour de France and the Vuelta Espana, the Giro d'Italia occasionally starts outside of its Italian borders. And if you take this year's Giro, which starts in the Netherlands, the Giro will have started on 12 different occasions in different countries. The first of which was in 1965 when the Giro started in Monaco. Now, I bet you want me to reel off all of the countries. Well, here goes. San Marino, Monaco, Belgium, Vatican City, Greece, France, the Netherlands, Belgium, the Netherlands, Denmark, Northern Ireland, and the Netherlands. Three to the Netherlands. They must have a pretty good relationship, I guess. The title of most prolific Giro winner is an accolade that is shared between an exclusive club of three cycling legends. Italians Fausto Coppi and Alfredo Binder, as well as Belgian icon Eddie Merckx, all have five wins apiece. Now, the most prolific stage winner is Mario Cipollini with 42, and somewhat unsurprisingly, Italy lead the way in terms of countries who won the Giro with 68, with Belgium a very, very distant second with seven wins. The first ever Giro d'Italia took place in 1909, covering 2,448 kilometers. Now, that average per day about 300 kilometers, which is nearly double what their modern day counterparts do these days. Now the winner of the inaugural Giro d'Italia, or the first one, was Luigi Ganna. Now he won on a points-based system, not overall accumulated time. He didn't go to a time system until 1914. The iconic Maglia Rosa, or pink jersey, is awarded to the rider that's leading the race, and that ultimately wins the race overall. But it wasn't actually awarded until as late as 1931, and pink was chosen because that's the colour of the pages of the newspaper that sponsors the race, the Gazzetto dello Sport. Now the rider that spent the most time in the iconic pink jersey is, unsurprisingly, Eddie Merckx. But get this, 77 days he spent in the Maglia Rosa, which equates to roughly three and a half Giros, or Giri. The youngest rider to take overall honours in the Giro d'Italia was Fausto Coppi, otherwise known as Il Campionissimo. Now, at the tender age of 20 in 1940, he won the overall race, but in the process beat teammate, the far more experienced Gino Bartali, igniting a bitter feud between the two riders that actually divided the Italian public into the Bartaliani and the Coppiani. So I hear you ask, who won the fastest ever Giro d'Italia? Well, that honor goes to Giuseppe Cerrone of the formidable Del Tongo team, who in 1983, wearing the rainbow stripes of world road champion, won the Giro. His average speed, 38.937 kilometers an hour, equating to 24.194 miles an hour. 
If this video has whet your appetite for all things Giro d'Italia, how about clicking just up here for our Giro playlist? And if you want some facts about another Grand Tour, in particular the Tour de France, how about clicking just down here for our top 10 things you may not know about the Tour de France. And as ever, to subscribe to GCN, click on the globe, wherever that may be. And don't forget to like this video and share it with your mates too.